Yo, what's up guys? It's everyone's favorite rapidly aging guitarist, Chris Zuka here. Lovely to see you all again. Uh, apologies for the hiatus. I had some awful kidney and abdomen trouble for about 16 days and I was absolutely rubbish. Couldn't get in front of the camera, but I'm much better. Thanks for asking. Today we're going to be looking at the first solo from Amongst the Shadows and the Stones by Trivium. Let's take a look. Guys, before we get too excited, we've just got to talk about the tuning for this song, which is drop C sharp, which goes C sharp, G sharp, C sharp again, F sharp, A sharp, D sharp. So get yourself in tune, and we'll get started. All right, guys, let's have a look at the first section. This is just that little riff that leads into the delicious shreds. I'm going to basically be doing a melody on the third string and just adding in little chugs in between on the open fourth string. So I'm going to start off by playing 10 of the 3rd string and a double chug on the 4th. Then I'm going to play 10-9 on the 3rd with a double chug. So we're going to go. Then from that point I'm going to play 9-12. Then 12-10. So I got. At the end of that. Let's slow that down. I'm going to play 10-14 double chug and then 9 double chug. All together. Hopefully that's all making sense. And then the second half is a very similar premise. So I'm going to start off from 15 of the third string with a double chug in between. Then I'm going to play 15, 12, double chug, 12, 14, double chug. Then from that point, 14, 10. From that point now, to finish that off, I'm playing 10, 12, double chug, and then just a single nine with a chug. So I'll just play the second half nice and slow. Well, that's pretty much the whole section. What I'll do is I'll play it relatively slowly, and then we'll do it again even slower with some tabs. Relatively simple idea. Let's do it one more time with some tabs. Okay guys, second section, we're gonna be dealing with some delightful little shreds. Let's work through them slowly. Most of it just double triplets. I'm gonna start off by playing 12, 14, 16 on the sixth string twice. I'm gonna do a Phrygian dominant thing over here. I'm playing 12, 13, 16 on the fifth. From that point, I'm gonna play 12, 14, 15 again, this time on the fourth string twice. At the end of that, cheeky vibrato on 14 of the third string. So all together we're gonna have this. Slow that down a little bit. And we're gonna work up the Phrygian dominant scale again even more. So from that point, I'm going to be playing 12, 13, 16 again on the fifth string twice. Then I want to play 14, 15, sorry, 12, 14, 16 on the fourth and third string twice each. So we're going to go. Then from that point, I was vibratoing 15 of the second string. So all together thus far, we should have this. And from that point, I work into the next position of that scale. So what I'm doing here is I'm playing 14, 15, 17 on the fourth, third, and second string, and I'm playing that shape twice on each. There's a bit of um, Hungarian in there, I guess, because you end up sort of with the flat five and uh, the regular fifth, I think. From that point, I'm going to play 15, 17, 18 on the first string. Now, I'm not going to do a double triplet. 
I'm going to almost do two, but I'm going to play 15, 15, 17, 18, and then just 15, 17, which gives us this. And we work into this phrase, which has a little harmony attached. Uh, we'll get to that last chunk in a bit. Let's have a look at what we've got thus far from the start of this section. Okay, then I work into this phrase. Let's slow that down. I'm gonna start from 18 of the second string, jumping to 15 of the third. I'm gonna hit that twice. Then from that point, I wanna go 18, 17 on the second, and then another little double chug from 15 to the third. From that point, I'm gonna play 17 to 14 on the second string, and then another cheeky little double chug from 15 of the second, the third string. All together, that's gonna to sound like this. To finish off, vibratoing that 15 on the second string. There's also something like, underneath that. So there is a high harmony uh, that goes in a slightly different direction. It's not sort of direct thirds. It does have uh, a bit of a counterpoint thing going on, if you're into that. Anyway, let's put together the whole section from the start and then we'll do it again even slower at some tabs. <laughs> One more time with some tabs. And that was the first solo from Amongst the Shadows and the Stones by Trivium. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And if you want tabs to this, this lesson and anything else that I do, Please join up with the Patreon with all the cool kids. There's a lot of exclusive content that you can't otherwise get on YouTube. I also have three books out that I would like to share with you. Ultimate Shred Machine, if you want to up your chops in shredding, sweeping, legato, and tapping. Rock Guitar Mode Mastery, if you want to up your understanding of the seven modes, how to compose with them, how to improvise with them. And of course, my most recent book, Rock Guitar Improvisation, uh, Shred Guitar Improvisation rather, if you want to up your understanding of how to deal with chord changes, interesting sequences, and just general improvisation knowledge, that is all there in that delightful book. And if you want them all in one definitive volume, I do have them in a trilogy collection as well. Also, if you're not much of a reader, all three of those books are available in a video course on Udemy or from chrissuper.com, so you can always check that out as well. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. I will be working on part two very soon, so stay tuned for that, and I will catch you all very soon. Take care.